really starting to think that this woman wakes up in the mornings, drinks her morning coffee, watches the sunrise, and says to herself, how hypocritical can I be today? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you will stick around and join in on today's conversation. It has been a lot of drama around Smoky Glow and Angelica Oles lately. They've really been taking over the drama spotlight for a lot of reasons. I'm going to fill you in very quickly so that we can get to the real tea. Smoky Glow and Angelica Oles are both two different beauty commentators here on the YouTube platform. If you guys are not aware, they have really been going at it here lately and a lot of people have been getting thrown in the mix. Smoky Glow made this public apology apologizing to the viewers and just the public in general because she did a collab with Angelica Oles and a lot of people gave her some backlash for it saying basically that she should not have been doing this collab with Angelica because Angelica is extremely microaggressive. She does a lot of passive aggressive things. There was a lot of issues that people have with Angelica. Angelica Oles she did a video explaining her side and everything of that nature. And then Smoky Glow did a video explaining her side and that should have been the end of it. Both of them agreed that they were done. They'll deal with this off camera. But then of course you guys, who has to step in on Twitter and put her two cents in? Da -da -da -da! Katie Joy, aka without a crystal ball. You guys know she is the biggest critique of them all, the biggest hypocrite of them all. And I'm really starting to think that she just wakes up in the morning and says to herself, drinking her morning coffee as the sun's rising. How hypocritical can I be today? What can I do to piss the world off today? And we're going to get into what Katie Joy had to say about Angelica Oles right now. It's one of the tweets that Katie Joy put over on Twitter. Of course, you guys know it would not be Katie style if this was not now deleted, but we're still going to get into it. It says, Angelica demands accountability. You guys, if there was a word to sum up 2020, accountability would definitely be that word. But never takes it herself. She screams at people to take criticism, but doesn't take her own. She tells people to stop being problematic, but she's problematic. She's mean to other creators. Am I the only one that's like, is this a reflection of Katie herself? Is she like, this is her criticism of Angelica Oles. Who are you to judge anybody here on this platform or in general in the world? It just doesn't make sense. These things that she says, that's her. That's her in a nutshell. This comment pretty much says, hey, you know, how are you going to sit here and judge Angelica or criticize her and be such a hypocrite when this is what she does? This is Katie Joy in a nutshell. We all know it. So I think it's very mind blowing that she thought this would be the perfect opportunity to criticize someone else. She goes on to say, I honestly can't. I could have told everyone six months ago what Angelica was like. This is why we just need to stop fighting within commentary and move on. I'm not going to sit here and say that she's completely wrong. I think when it comes to commentary, you have to be really, really careful. There's definitely a fine line between professionalism and you can definitely cross that line very easily and get way too personal or hit below the belt. And that's not cool. If something is public information, you can talk about it. You can share your thoughts and opinions. But when you start digging for information or when you start, you know, really just being shady like that, the ground gets rocky beneath you and it can blow up in your face. That's something we have definitely seen with Katie Joy, aka Without a Crystal Ball. She dug way too deep and now she is trying her best to crawl out of this hole that she has created and it's not looking good for her. It is kind of a risk that you take with commentary because you have to be careful. You have to know that thin line and you can't cross it because once you do, there is no going back. You have to be careful on how you say things and unfortunately with Angelica, that's kind Kind of what started putting her in this bad light is that she wasn't careful with the way she said things. Not that I'm saying it's impossible. We all do it. We're all human, you guys. At the end of the day, anyone can talk about it, but for Katie Joy to talk about it, that's where it gets so, like, the hypocrisy of it all, you guys. It's too much. Katie has said in the past she doesn't understand 
why people hold her at a different standard when it comes to commentary and why people think that it might be a good idea for her to not do commentary anymore. And I understand that commentary is what started her career here on YouTube, but at this moment in time, I think the ground is just too rocky for Katie to continue with commentary. And I feel like that is why her first channel is kind of just been up in the air. You don't really know what's going on with it. She has said herself, she doesn't know what she's going to do with her first channel because the ground is rocky. People don't believe the words coming out of her mouth. People look at her as a hypocrite. When she sits there and she commentates on things, people are like, who are you to criticize anybody? Look where she's at. You know, she didn't get there by accident. This was content upon content upon content of her just doing too much. I think that's why people get upset when she does do commentary. I think that's why people get so upset with her when she does decide to criticize or put her two cents in because it's like, why could you not take your own advice? You're not taking anyone else's advice. So why could you not take your own? This is the last thing that she put, and I don't know if this is still up or not. It may be, but she says, to all the creators, I hope that 2021, all of us, including me, can coexist in a way that keeps our subscribers engaged, entertained, and not feeling like they have to pick a side. There shouldn't be sides. I do agree with that. It's what's right and what's wrong. And if you see that someone's doing something wrong, you don't support that. That's my outlook on things. Like if you see someone doing wrong and you see someone time and time again being dirty and you don't support that. I don't necessarily support Tati Westbrook in this lawsuit, but I can understand what ta where Tati is coming from because Katie has done a lot, y'all. She has done a lot to this woman. So I think it's a matter of seeing what's right and seeing what's wrong and you choosing which one you want to support. You either support the right thing or you support the wrong thing. And of course that looks different to everybody. And if you support Katie, then there's nothing wrong with that. But in my personal opinion, I cannot support someone who has time and time again has had such nasty behaviors, who's really just dug this hole and defamed so many people, including Tati Westbrook. And now Angelica Oles, this is not the first time that she has said something publicly about Angelica. Angelica, if you have a personal vendetta or issue with a creator or friend or literally anybody, when you bring it to the public, you're bringing the viewers in and you're making them choose a side. They either have to choose your side and make Katie be right, or they're going to choose the other side. So she really has no one to blame when it comes to the publicity of it all, but herself. She's made all of these issues public. She's the one who has came online on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and talked about these things very publicly. So of course, people are going to hop on and share their opinions and their thoughts because it is a very public situation and she has no one to blame but herself. At the end of the day, I think that this is just, it's, it's mind boggling to me because it is so reflective of Katie herself, in my personal opinion. And the fact that she doesn't see it that way is just so mind boggling, to be honest with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think that Katie is being extremely hypocritical with all of this? Or do you agree with Katie and Angelica just needs to zip it? Also, if you would like to stay in the loop with everything in the drama world, be sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for post notifications. That way you are notified every single time I upload. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And until the next time, bye.